Hey everyone, welcome back to part 14 of Horizon Zero Dawn. We are currently trying to do the Mountain That Fell quest. So, in the last part that I recorded, my game kind of reset every setting to default and it turned the game borderless. Ah, oh, goddammit. Which created such a bad recording and it became so choppy. I didn't even notice until I started editing a few hours later. At that point it was too late, I couldn't replay the mission. I kind of lost the save point. The way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted. But they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? It kind of frustrates me right now. Anyway, sorry about that. That was my bad. I didn't notice that something was off. The stalkers in the open. Watchers on the other side. This is gonna be fun. I could run through, but... Uh, let's go. Fuck it. Run around. Stick this one out. Never mind, he's too far. There. Got him. Okay, one left. I realized that this cover is the same color as her hair. Oh wait, I can override these guys. I didn't know that. Oh shit. Let's create a mess. Go, do your thing, bro. What? You're just gonna sit? You're not much help. I don't know why I'd reset all the settings. I exited the game normally. It didn't crash that time, like before. Uh, I have no clue. Probably a glitch. I think this is the right way. I think. Do they think they're guarding Gaia? I doubt they think at all. More like an instant, gathering them to her grave. Fighto. Um. 
Oh shit. That was a mistake. Oh well, they can fight. Yeah, they can fight. Let them have their fun. I'm just gonna go on. Just gonna continue on my own. Minding my own business. Some shitty bird. Oh. I think I killed that one before, but they're always a hassle to deal with. Whatever. Really? At the end? Fuck you, man. Of the mountain, like it was an egg. Yes, yes. Quickly now. I've prepared the way ahead for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. Somehow I still don't trust this silence guy. He might betray us in the end. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. Yeah. They Look weren't down. much of an obstacle. Look down. I guess this way? Holy shit. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in, Silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. Looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, a great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in Meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon no one dared to come here. Except me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but... After seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. 
Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... convenient. But... do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? Well, you know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years, and we're counting the time we have left by the hour. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Mind your footing. I fell to my death one way too many times. Holy shit. We're almost there. I don't know how she manages to latch on every time. Oh, this way? Guess that's my way across. Oh, shit. It's uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well. D don't answer. <laughs> I love the voice acting. Oh, glad that's over. Whoops. Whoever voice acted her did a very good job. Such a long run. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The Focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Elizabeth. What is this? Oh, come on. Click it. This is Charles Ronson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. 
But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who could I have signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen, the swarm's too close. Really, it's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out, that's what she does. Not like this, there's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm, I'm no good at endings, at letting things end, so, um, let's not. So, Happy trails, Liz. And uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. Goodbye. That was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Oh man, I was wondering what the roses are for. She couldn't have survived, Eloy, and her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your... loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. I don't know what she's searching for or what she was expecting. It has been a thousand years. Of course she's dead. section at the back of the crater looks like it survived the blast because it was armored you found the control room I'm on my way
the fuck? ways that you could play this I have to guess and jump over and probably die When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. Well, they suffocated, definitely. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen. Okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh... <clears throat> I've, um... Uh, please. Stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about... Is... Um... I said stop trying to access the goddamn system! And wh what I'm trying to say... Is... I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents, those blameless men and, 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 and women, we're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're going to give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't, and it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone, all of it, every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Captain Atmosphere. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. <sighs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the Alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we're living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Maybe. Maybe hope. Maybe despair. Master Override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Or 
return to the workshop. Uh, let's go back, I guess. Can I go this way? Oh, wait. I can actually slide down here. I could have guessed that on my own. How the fuck? Nope. This way? Yeah, it's fucking this way. Another power cell. Oh. I only need one more to get to that ancient armor I found. One more. made it somehow. journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire, not Meridian, the Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva, its code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems, Hades wants to send a new transmission. To wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. 
That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the Jew. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. I've heard enough. I don't need to hear anything more. You've done terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Aloy, I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, perhaps. But basically the same. Really? So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. All right. We found out a lot of shit. that the Eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city, but the Spire... Okay, this is it for part 14. I will see you guys in the next one. Later.